What is going on guys? Thank you for tuning in to another video. My name is Rush and today we're finally changing the oil on my 2019 Mustang GT. I'm changing the oil as a part of the thousand mile break-in. I know it's not necessary to change the oil this early, but I just wanted to do so to get any debris or anything like that that was used to break in the engine out of there and put some fresh oil in. So what I'm doing is uh, replacing the oil with the factory recommended oil, but we are going to the 5W30. This is the kind of oil that's recommended for track use, so the car is not going to be seeing a track use necessarily, but I will be driving it hard. So I figured I'd just switch up to this oil to help prevent any engine tick or any issues that might arise uh, with these cars. So I'm going to go ahead and knock it out real quick. I have the car up on jack stands on either side, um, you know, and uh, I've let the car cool off. Uh, I did have a little drive in it earlier. So it's been sitting for about an hour now nice and cool so it should be good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and climb under there and start draining it so you can see my uh, drain is down there i gotta pull it up and uh it's super easy because ford uses these uh these plugs that pretty much just twist off so you don't really need a wrench or anything while you're down there Oop, almost dropped down that would have been bad so let's go ahead and get under there and get to work so you pretty much just need to twist this off right here and all the oil will come flying out. Here it comes, guys. Woo! Alrighty, guys. So, as you saw there, oil came out really fast. Ended up making a little bit of a mess, but it's not too bad. Just gonna gotta clean it up. It overfilled uh, the uh, drain here. I'm not sure why, I think it was just coming out way too quick for it to really go down. Uh, even though this is a 15 quart uh, you know, drain pan here, so it's not uh, small, but I just came out at such a fast pace that it couldn't hold everything all at once. Alrighty boys, next step is to get the oil filter out. It's under this flap right here right in front of the uh, driver's side front wheel. So I just need to remove this uh, bolt that holds it up. Just like so. Now the flap will open up and your oil filter. Let me show it to you guys. This right. Oil filter is right up there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's this one right here. So you gotta rotate it off. Try to get it by hand. If you can't, then you gotta use a uh, tool to get it off, which I have. So we're good there. Just make sure you have your uh, drain pan right underneath it because the oil is gonna come down and you wanna catch it before it gets everywhere. So let's go ahead and set you guys right there. So you get a first look at the action. Actually, you can't see it. <sighs> Guys, okay. So, my camera wasn't recording, but I went ahead and put everything back together. The old oil filters right here. Just dry, drained all in there. Make sure you wipe down all this area because the oil does run down. I don't know why they put the oil filter right here but it's kind of a stupid design because there's a bunch of stuff around it so when the oil comes down it starts dripping everywhere so make sure you wipe it all down get all that oil that got everywhere and now we are ready to go up top of the engine and start pouring in the new oil since we drained out the old oil and it did look a little dirty um, for a thousand miles but it is breaking oil so I'm not tripping um, also the oil filter doesn't look too bad I didn't see anything in there I'm not gonna dissect it or anything like that I'm not I don't have the time for that, but we will go ahead and drop in some fresh oil right now. Let's go. Now I've heard this thing takes about 10 quarts, so we're gonna go ahead and check it. Some fresh Motocraft oil, I'm gonna break the seal on it. Alrighty, here we go. So there's some new oil. So I'm probably going to stop a little bit, maybe like towards 8 or 9 quarts just to check. Make sure that we're not overfilling the engine here with oil. 
So let's go ahead and check that real quick. Okay, so the dipstick is actually on the other side of the engine. That's uh, kind of a weird spot to put a dipstick because it's not easily accessible, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and put it back in. So we're still registering low. Means, means we need to add a little more. Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much it for the oil change. We'll go ahead and drop the car now and get it out of the garage, go to a level surface, just check it, make sure that the oil uh, level is good and that we didn't add too little or too much. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much the conclusion of my first oil change on the 2019 Mustang. Uh, I'm excited to drive it now because now I can finally open it up and really drive it the way it's meant to be driven. So here we go. So we're doing one last check up on the oil before I take her for a spin. And we are registering oil all the way through. So we are good to go. Alrighty guys, here we go. Oil is good. Now it's time to go ahead and take her out for a nice little spin. set the oil life uh, monitor here which is pretty simple to do all you got to do is go to advanced settings so we'll start over all you got to do to reset it is press this button over here go down to advanced settings click OK over to vehicle oil life reset hold it and it'll go ahead and process a reset for you so there it is 100% we're good to go. So there's a road that I would like to drive on now, which I believe I can finally like open up the car a little bit. So here we go. We're getting close to it. not even like a high uh, shift in the RPM range, it's just, we're just going up to like 5.6 and it feels really good. So let's see, man there's a little bit of traffic right now. So I have to hold off just a little bit. Truth is coming right up, boys. Just waiting to get a little bit of clearance here. I think I'm gonna just hang back a little bit and let this traffic pass by. And I think I should pull from second gear. We'll do a pull from second gear, see how that feels, and then we'll try like third gear and see how that feels as well. And a ton of you guys keep messaging me about the iPhone mount that I use. I'm gonna just start leaving it in the description of these videos. So if you'd like to pick up this iPhone mount, it's off of Amazon, just check the description and you'll find it right there. Alrighty boys, so we're getting ready. I'm in uh, Sport Plus mode. And uh, this is gonna be my first ever full send in the Mustang. So put your seatbelts on, let's do this. Just waiting till I get some clearance, make sure that we're past this bend in the road. Okay, I think we're good. Let's do a 40, 40 roll. I know there's a light down there, so I just want to make sure that it's green. It is. Oh my 
my god. Yo, this thing pulls. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, my heart's pounding because that was my first ever kind of like fast pull in this car. But it felt so fucking good. Excuse my French, but damn, that felt really fucking nice. Oh, that was addictive. Woo! Whoa ho ho. Whoa ho 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 ho. <laughs> Oh man, I have such a big smile on my face, you guys can't even see the smile, but that was fun. That was definitely fun. That felt really strong and it felt really nice. The, how fast it revs out though, it catches you off guards. That's for sure. It definitely revs up really quick. Before you know it, you just gotta shift. And I know my shifts are not the best, but man oh man, that was a good time. I gotta do that one more time. Let me find another good area for us to do that. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh my God, this car is fun. Just smacking those gears was the funnest thing I've done in so long. Just gonna do a pull up here. Should I go down in a second? Fuck is I need to relax before I get my ass put in jail. <laughs> having a little too much fun this morning. I'm having a little too much fun this morning. <laughs> One thing that's funny though, if you look at my gas gauge, it is going down rapidly with that kind of driving, but I'm not even mad. So let's change it up into drag mode. So we make sure the road is nice and smooth before we do anything retarded. Okay, have a little bit of a straightaway. We'll take it down to second gear. fun so much fun okay boys so that was the first pull in the Mustang and as you saw there it was a ton of fun uh, you know just smacking gears and being behind the wheel of this thing is really um, so enjoyable you know and that's exactly what i was thinking when i was getting this car i wanted a car that i could enjoy and uh, would give me kind of uh, a way to to relieve some stress every time i was stressed with the worries of life and every day so getting behind the wheel of this thing being able to smack gears just makes me happy and that's what really matters so i hope you guys like my new red shift knob i definitely like it, it feels pretty good but yeah man it was a fun little experience i can't believe we're just getting started with this thing and how fun it is uh as it is you know without anything done to it so far it's a lot of fun so i can only imagine once we start doing some work and really getting some more power out of this coyote engine what it's going to be like but that is pretty much it for today hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you leave a like on it if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and if you haven't checked me out on instagram already check me out at rush shift uh, to see more videos and little snippets of my day-to-day uh, -day activities. So that is it for today I'll see you guys tomorrow. Rush Shift signing out. Peace